Hey, one of our favorite restaurants in all of South Florida, indeed the country, is called Salumeria 104. It's right there in Midtown, Midtown Miami, led by Chef Angelo Masserine, who's kind of left to join us. Homemade pastas, cured I'm meats, other eat. delicacies. They constantly change the special menu. Authentic salumi and cheeses. Uh, a little ah. bit of Italy to life. You here really in do. South you feel like you're there. Learn more at salumaria104.com. Angela, good to see well, you. Oh, good morning. Yeah. 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 I know, and, and I'm like looking at these. The squash blossoms. blossoms, they just look delicious. You know, uh, I never know how to cook them. You I see know. them once in a while, this is the time of the year for them, right? Yeah, exactly. Plus, you know, you want to call blossom, zucchini, right. calabasa flower, you know, there is a word for everything. And they're language. pretty. Right. And they're pretty beautiful. It's considered a flower, uh -huh. so it's beautiful for a woman. Uh -huh. so a flower. Oh, it's it's an edible nice. flower. And, and you, you the most go. important yeah. is an edible flower from Florida. So because those uh, uh, zucchini flowers come from Paradise Farm, which oh, is a farm I really Paradise care. Farms. It's a yes. beautiful farm, right. and I visit several times, and they are they produce some beautiful products. All right, Angelo, what are you cooking here? What are you doing with these beautiful uh, uh, blossoms? So with this calabasa flour, now we're going to fill it and right. then fry it. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's a very simple recipe. Okay. You can do a home easily. And it's one of my very, very staple uh, special on the kitchen. We have in there from five years and people love it. Right. Ah. And it's also totally seasoned. So first of all, we're going to have a bowl. And I choose today uh, sheep ricotta, which is very okay. delicate. Right. They come from Italy. So even those little particular, you know, choose the right ingredients. But you can do it with that. And it seems lighter. In, it seems very, case. very light, yeah. right? Very light, and have a, have a particular taste, the, the oh. ship ricotta. Now you're going to try it. It goes with okay. the squash pasta. But you can do with uh, any ricotta. Okay. Uh, or ricotta impastata is even better because it's not soft and have a less water than, right. a, okay. than a regular ricotta. All so right. ricotta, remember, ricotta impastata. 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 So we put a couple of spoon of ricotta in here. Right. Oh, sorry, I make a mess in there. Right. There we no, go. No, here we go. We got it. Look at that. A little bit of salt. Right. It's the emotion, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of pepper. I like to add a little bit of uh, lemon zest. Okay. Just light, like that. He always makes everything look so easy when he's in here, you know? I mean, it, and he's, you know, he's, he's in front of a television camera, but he's cooking like he's, he's at home. Yeah. And that's the way it is at Slumery 104. He brings 104. everything himself. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, I need to add a little bit of anchovies because oh, it'll nice. give a little bit of character. Oh, okay. I like that. Okay. Not a lot of people like anchovies. Particularly, I love it. Yeah, you I don't do like too. a lot? Oh, I love anchovies. Are you sure? Yeah. Because yeah. I can do without yeah. them. No, you can no, do without them. You, you can just dump them in. I'm good with that. Yeah. So we're going to put a little bit of anchovy. We're going to chop it down. One of my favorite herbs are uh, mm, thyme. So I'm gonna put a little bit of thyme okay. Okay. in here. That's beautiful. Look at beautiful it looks bouquet. So pretty. And this one growing on my terrace. So that is amazing. Wow. Wait. But this is best, best than that. Now do you chop them or you just you you just you take skin away them, the right? leaves with your fingers. Yeah. That's it. That is like easy. that, and then you can chop. By the way, Slow Maria 104 is open uh, uh, seven days a week, right? Angela for lunch and for dinner. Uh, just an absolutely wonderful Italian restaurant. A uh, good wine list for you too. Today, Angela has brought uh, Luisa. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a Sauvignon Blanc, basically, uh, from Korea. All right. So now we mix all the ingredients right. together, and we put on a, in a pastry bag. Yeah, okay. pastry bag. Yeah. Yeah. We, we say in, in Italy, you know, soccer poche, French way. Right, right. But pastry bag. Right, <laughs> right. All right. We fill it up. So it's easy to fill it up and. And then you just go ahead and stuff it in there. Boy, I tell you what, I, I love this food. You see, all you have to do is mix just, the ingredient and put okay. it in a sucker. Right. And you cut the edge off and you're done to go, right? You can squeeze it in. Exactly. Uh, look at that. People okay. have to go buy fancy stuff. Let's go to Amazon Prime yeah. and buy this. No, no, no. Just get a bag and do it that way. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, Summary 104 is right there in Midtown Miami. Right. Uh, it's just a wonderful area and uh, a good spot for shopping, great place for restaurants. Uh, just strolling around. Yeah, just know. walking around is beautiful too. So now gently, basically, you open the top of the flower and you fill with ricotta. With your Right. Not that much, okay? Right. Just a little bit. Yeah, because when it when it fries it's gonna yeah. it's gonna kind of explode a little bit. There you go. Well we're gonna prepare a little bit of tempura, simple tempura today. Oh, okay. oh. Wow. 
Isn't that just beautiful? And put a work for Japanese and also for Venetian yeah. people, and Italian Italians people, too. American, yeah, for everybody. Does. Yeah, we can do all and of that. And you put us gently with a hand like right. that. If you love wine, if you love Italian wines, every Tuesday until the end of October, it's Lumerio on 4. You want to try Blender? On Tuesday, it Here is on the uh, half off their wine list, which is absolutely wonderful. Oh, you are a brave man, Angelo. I'm yeah, telling you, you're you know. a brave guy. Look at that. Let's give it a little squeeze there. There you go. You're all set to go. Perfect. Now. We're going to come back. He's going to deep fry these things. He's going to tempura them. And we are going to have this wonderful meal, thanks to Angela Messerine and the folks at Salud Maria 104, right after this on HCH Florida's Eat This, Drink That, and Go. Joined by Chef Angelo Massarine from Salou Maria 104. These are yeah. squash blossoms, basically. He calls them flowers. That's the way we always call them. And he stuffed them with ricotta, with sheep. Uh, sheep ricotta. Sheep ricotta. Yeah. Sheep ricotta it, lemon zest, anchovies, right. Right. salt and pepper. Um, a little bit of time. And do these just bloom once a year? Or? Well, in Florida here, they're pretty much blowing all, all the time. Right. Oh, it's one okay. of the little few flowers we can we, we can have all year long. Right. So that's amazing. That's a good that's part a good about thing. it, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. So now is the phase to fry those. Okay. Right. So you, you have several ways to do it. You can do even a saute, you know, non-stick stick pan. Right. Okay. And just saute it with a little bit of butter or oh. oil. Okay. Oh, okay. Or you can fry. And one of my choices is using uh, sunflower seed soil because it's one we of the best. Sun oil. Bella. Sun we Bella love is Sun very, Bella. very light oil, right. high temperature. It, re it resists a high right? temperature it's and is healthier than most oil. Right. Okay. So, what's next? Today we choose to fry uh, uh, the same way I do in Salumeria, okay. which will be, will be with a simple tempura. Simple okay. tempura, you have uh, three ingredients and a half. All right, right. sparkling <laughs> water, ice, right. flour, a little bit of baking soda, salt, and that's, that's it. That's it. Okay. Baking okay. soda is the half finger, right. because that's you it. just need a little, little, teeny, little, little tiny, little tiny bit. bit. Okay. All right, okay. so let's so start let's with a, like first with the ice. So we're gonna put a little bit of ice. All right. Interesting. Flour. Have never seen this before? No, I've never seen this before. I haven't either. That tempura, you probably eat tempura, no, every day, Always. but every week right. for sure. But I've never seen it made. Yeah. A little bit of baking soda. You know, Just a little bit. I mean, you don't buy it in a package at like uh, the grocery store? Oh, yeah. Store. Well, that is the, the way how to do it for yeah, scratch. Very, very simple. And you're sparkling using water. Sparkling water. Okay. So it's all bubbling. That's the baking go. soda. And you need to be just... very, very cold. Right. Can you hold it for me, Brenda? Yes. Thank you. And you keep going like that, adding sparkling water, flour, till you have the right... Just alternating, alternating different ingredients? Exactly. Okay. Everything must be cold. That's right. the, that's that's the key. The key. That so the, is so the, the ice key. is exactly. really the important element in the beginning. All right. Are you ready for the uh, flour to go in? I'm ready. Okay. We try it? Yeah. Let's do go it. Ahead. Let's see. Let's try it with a, a little one. So if we make any mistake, we can adjust. It sizzles in the pan. I now, think it's they're, fine. They're so delicate, Angelo. How long do you keep them in? Yeah. Till they got a little bit of color. Oh, okay. so, a little bit of color. Little bit of, okay. Because See, the, the, the you, cheese you is You drop gonna a little bit at the time because you don't want the flour to stick on the bottom of the right. pot. And do you do you uh, and then move we them turn around? around? Yeah. Turn them around? Okay. Absolutely, we turn around. And remember, the best way to eat those mm -hmm. are steaming up. You know, yes, right. Right yeah. after that. Which we're going to do. You know, the problem is you never get them to the table. That's the issue. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, the family's standing around and they're going, hey, look what Dad did. It's <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, ready to go. So now we're going to turn it out. Oh, they're going to be ready in uh, Now, you're always seconds. changing up the menu at Saloon Rio. Well, I don't change a lot my menu. Yeah. But well, we change almost every day the special. The special. Yeah. So, yes, first of all, how I feel. So what I like and what I and there is nothing better than that. You know? Yeah. I feel like a steak. I, like, I feel fish. I see some beautiful products. So I try to work right. on that. You got a, a little bit more. A little oh. salt. Salt. Oh. And now we're gonna put it here. It's the same way I present in Salumeria, basically. Oh. So that's the way you present at the restaurant. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, like that. Oh. All right, Brenda. And give then a shot. we're gonna have a little bit of a salad just to clean your palates. But that's just, uh, you know, yeah. the side. 
All right, Brenda, try one. We've got about a minute left, Go 30 ahead. seconds left, and we're going to try that. Swimmerio 104, Midtown Miami. Hot, hot, hot. It's right there, and they're open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. You want authentic oh Italian God. food, this is the place to go. That's like the greatest looking thing. It is so good. Oh, man. That's oh, maybe wow. too hot. Oh, right now. <laughs> Just no, but it's so good. We're we'll back with Thanks, Angel. Yes. Back with more right after this. I need this drink back. Go. Oh. Chef Angelo Massarini was kind enough to ah. stick around for a few minutes. He finished these squash blossoms from Salima Rio 104. With Better stuff with ricotta. cheese. That's uh. right. Absolutely marvelous. With a, a light tempura. This yes. is one of the best things I've, I've eaten oh in my goodness. years. I mean, so just, good. Uh, it's uh, it's Salima Rio 104. It's right there in Midtown. Right. Um, we had a great show. We did. And you know what I want to, I want yeah. to remind everybody? MiamiSpaMonth.com. Uh, because this is July and August, thanks right. to the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau. And the special treatments start at $109. Which summer. is amazing. Yeah, for the 44 of the best spas in the world. They're right here in South Florida. And you can find more. Go to MiamiSpaMonth.com. How about the drinks from David Ortiz at Republic National oh, um, with um, Partida good. Tequila? Yeah, they were terrific. That oh, was great. And you know what I remind you too? We, when we tasted the, uh, the squash blossoms from Slim Marie 104 in yeah. Angelo, he poured this, uh, yeah. Luisa, it's a, it's a Ferrilli Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, and Excellent. That, wonderful with the squash yeah. blossom too. And you That's can find perfect. this on the menu, right? Absolutely. And yeah. every Tuesday until the end of October, it's Little Maria 104. Half price. Half price, that's all. So, and uh, be sure and mention us when you go and you get a special treat. You do. A VIP treatment. Oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> Everybody Which, gets every a VIP customer treatment. gets a VIP No, 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 treatment. no. But a VIP treatment of Salud Maria <laughs> is what I will do for my friends. So for you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you come in and you will. You will have the best treatment as I will give it to Brenda. I know we're along for the ride. And Bill, too. And Bill, too. Now, the, uh, you, you celebrating your fifth anniversary. It's going to be in October, so we'll look for something special from Slow Maria 104. Our, our, our thanks to our guest today, uh, for all of them, as you said, uh, David Ortiz from, uh, from the Republic National Distributing Company, and uh, Partita Vodka, just absolutely wonderful. Bill Talbot from the Greater Miami Convention and Business Bureau. And Bill, what I love about Bill, i got to explain something, because people will say to me, does he have a vision problem? And I always say, no. No, Here's this it's is what's Mr. great Miami. about this. He is Mr. Miami. He is Mr. Miami. He is Mr. Miami because yeah. he'll go anywhere in the world, and he does, promoting us, bringing business to our shores, whether it's Italy or, or Japan. That's exactly right. And he's cheap, too. Um, <laughs> and and the, we'll sun, for food. The, sun, we'll for the sunglasses food. remind everybody it's Miami. Miami. It's so it's Miami. Sun. It's Miami. And I love what he's got. He's got this wonderful uh, palm tree on the side. And here he's got the Italian and the American flags. And remember that. Here's Bill. He's always promoting. <laughs> it's MiamiSpawMonk.com. No, that's okay. It's MiamiSpawMonk.com. All right. That'll do it for this edition. We'll see you next week right here on HC84. Let's eat this. Drink that. Go. Go. <laughs>